All right, so here it is. We are at Grand Junction, looking out over the mountains, and we're at the corner of Casimir, which means covenant or proclamation of peace and rainbow. And here's the container. It's lit up. This is what I was told to do. And so it's all lit up. I'm going to go through this. There's the, the tree of life. This is what I was told to put in here. I was told to send it here by a miraculous set of events. So the, there's the tree of life. That's what the Lord told me to carve on this side was the tree of life. And then I was told to make a table with the Lord's prayer cut out in Hebrew. So the Lord's Prayer goes all the way around the table and it lights up in different, it literally lights up in rainbow colors and goes all the way around the table and the Lord's Prayer turns into a rainbow. It's absolutely phenomenal. The top is a magnetic field. It's an infinity symbol with the Bible on top and the Word of God open. And so then this, I was instructed on this wall to do this circle um, with the heartbeat of life right in the middle. It's like a vortex. So if you, it, makes, it actually makes a six and a nine. If you look at it, it's unbelievable. And it looks like it comes three feet off the wall into the container. It's so 3D, it's just, absolutely unbelievable it's amazing it's just amazing to, to get to have done this if you look at the sides out to the edge of the circle and then just follow it and go inside and look at that that is just absolutely staggering phenomenal and so start at the outer rings and work your way towards the inside and then it's got an exit door and then over here it shows these are flames and this is very very prophetic and the Lord told me on this on this wall to put flames and put on this wall the Statue of Liberty being covered by a tidal wave and because this is what it's gonna look like Also on this wall is a Statue of Liberty being covered by a tidal wave and by flames and it's a nuke. It's what's on, it's on your $10 bill. It's on the US $10 bill and the $100 bill. This exact event is printed on the US currency. The Lord told me he wanted me to play the prophetic utterance that I did in 2008 before Barack became president. And he wanted, wanted me to um, play that for you guys. The prophetic utterance so y'all can hear those words again. I believe it's about to happen. That's what I believe. I don't know why he would have me here doing this otherwise. The Lord instructed me to put Jeremiah 51 verse 47. And the waves have come up over Babylon. And so there is... There are the waves coming up over the Statue of Liberty. And this is what I was shown would happen. This was the prophetic gift given to me. And so here's the container of the table set. Um, he had me put these glasses and he actually, I was instructed to put the shin symbol on one side and then on the other side. I was instructed. The logo to my company it represents the five that was redeemed the V and the V that make the W and so the Lord has redeemed you know the the knowledge of good and evil he's redeemed us from that and that's a representation of the, the enemy always uses the two intersecting V's to make a W. I'll show that to you in this video. 
So anyway, I'm showing you guys, there it is, and I'm showing you what my work of faith was for the Lord. There's a black sheepskin right there on a chair facing one way and a white sheepskin facing the other way. And this was my work of faith. The container says Revelation 3.10 on the container itself. I was instructed to do that. You can see it up on the side. Revelation 3.10, which means, which reads, I'll save you from the hour of testing because you have kept the word of my patience and you have not denied my name. Therefore, I will keep you from the hour of testing. So this whole container represents the New Jerusalem, the bride of Christ. That's what it represents. And uh, I was instructed to come here and do a video. And so that's what I'm going to do. All right, guys. What you're about to hear is a re-recorded prophetic utterance that was given to me in 2007 and 2008 before Barack Obama became the president. Behold, thus saith the Lord of hosts, the hand of the oppressor has been lifted against you, and out of the sea shall come fire and smoke and a devouring wind. Water as high as the walls of Jerusalem will cover the city by the sea, and great shall be the destruction of that city. Behold the great wall, which holds back the abundance of the rivers, shall burst forth, bringing the hand of the oppressor against you, for I have seen it, says the Lord. For mighty is your enemy that is risen from within your own borders. Now behold the abomination of desolation spoken by Daniel the prophet, standing in the holy place where it should not be. Here is the mystery made known to you, you are the holy place of which I speak. And the abomination of desolation shall rise from within the walls of the temple to destroy the temple. For have you not seen? Have you not heard? Has it not been made known to you? Have you not read the scriptures? For when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, they did bear children to them, and the same became mighty men. Has not the sea turned mighty? And the sea shall turn terrible before your very eyes, and the terrible one shall be elevated within the sea. And behold, the man of peace, Barack Hussein Obama, shall come forth from the sea, and with words of peace he will bring chaos and destruction. Behold, the fig tree puts forth its leaves, and suddenly the time is upon you. The travail begins, and it will not stop until the holy nation is brought forth.